I am doing the cook with me on the Philly style Hasselback chicken um, that I prepped on Sunday. So for this one, I'm going to be pairing it with zucchini and squash lime crema. <laughs> I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, this is going to be four smart points per serving. I'm not having any potato or rice tonight because I do weigh in tomorrow. So um, usually on Wednesday nights, I just do vegetables and protein. So for this one, um, I did decide to marinate the chicken. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I marinated the chicken today in Olive Garden light Italian dressing. And I have just had the two chicken breasts marinating. And I decided I'm going to cook these in the air fryer. So I'm going to set those aside for now. So what you're going to need for this entire recipe is um, one lime or some lime juice. And you just need about a teaspoon of lime juice. You will also need two ounces of sour cream. So that is for the cream for the vegetables. Um, a zucchini and a squash. That goes together with that. For the chicken, we need, um, I'm doing a yellow pepper, onion, green pepper, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of spices to the chicken even though I've had them marinating. I'm just going to do some paprika, garlic powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And I am going to use some Cajun seasoning on the zucchini and squash. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to, I like my onions and peppers sauteed. So I'm going to go ahead and get those cut up so that I can get those sauteing. And then I will get my vegetables cut up and get those in the oven. washed and I'm just going to cut those up. And I'm just going to cut them into quarters and then slice them. Alright, and then I have sprayed a pan with olive oil spray and I'm just going to go ahead and put the squash on the pan and then cut up the zucchini. And in the meantime, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. on the tray with the squash and then mix them all up break apart the pieces that didn't that's kind of a thick piece there all right then we're just going to put some salt and pepper And a little bit of Cajun seasoning. You can leave the Cajun seasoning out if you want. All right, and then I'm just going to give it a spray with olive oil spray. And then we're going to put it, put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, so I have my chicken breasts out. I'm just going to put a little bit of garlic, just because we really like garlic. I think I'm not going to put salt because I am sure there is a lot of sodium in the salad dressing. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of garlic powder, some pepper, and paprika. All right, and we're just going to go through and cut our slits. These are thin chicken breasts. Uh, usually when I do Hasselback chicken, I leave it whole. But this is actually one big chicken breast that I sliced in half. So I've got to be very careful when I cut my slits that I don't cut too far down. But I want the slits to be big enough that I'm going to be able to fit things, fit the um, onions and peppers in there. And we're also going to need cheese, too. Forgot about the provolone cheese. We definitely can't forget about that. I don't know. I may add that towards the end. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the slits or put it on top, actually. You guys are going right with me as I make this. So, If you're seeing it, though, we must have liked it because otherwise I won't post this. Okay, now before I stuff it with the onions and peppers, I'm going to go ahead and get my air fryer heated up. Okay, guys, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I don't want to add the cheese until the end because I don't want the cheese to get too done. Um, sometimes when you cook with cheese in the air fryer, it can almost like brown, which is good. Some people like it that way, but I don't want that for this recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the chicken in the air fryer first for a little bit. I'm going to cook it with the slit side down. That way when I do the flip, um, most of the time when you cook chicken in the air fryer, it's recommended that you flip it halfway through. So I'm going to cook it with the slits down for about five minutes, I think. And then I'm going to flip it over and then at that point I'm going to add the onions and peppers and the cheese because the onions and peppers are cooked anyway so those don't need to cook in the air fryer. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. Alright so my air fryer is ready. I had it preheating for about three minutes. I'm going to do this at 375. I was going to do it at 400 but I'm going to do it at 375. Get our chicken in there. We're just going to add a little bit of garlic. A little bit of pepper. And paprika. Now I'm going to put it in the air fryer for about five minutes and then I'm going to flip it. Alright, and in the meantime I have my vegetables. I'm just going to flip those. All right, and then I'm going to put those back in the oven. All right, guys, so this is the cheese I'm going to use. This is, uh, was going to be three points for the chicken because I was going to use two slices of this ultra-thin provolone, which is three points, but I noticed I can use three slices for an extra point. So I'm going to see how it comes out because my uh, vegetables are only going to be one point um, because of the sour cream. I think. I better check. That might be two. Um, but either way, even if it's two points for the sour cream and four points, it's only a six point dinner. So I these are thin, so I'll just see when I do the chicken. I may use three, so you, you that's up to you. If you want to just use two slices for three or three slices for four. So I'm going to flip them over now. And then just kind of try and open the slits up more. Okay, just so I can do this a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and take them out so I don't burn myself on the pan. Alright, so all we're going to do is just Push some onions and peppers right in the cracks. Try and get it in there as good as we can. Okay. 
And you really can't help but use your fingers on this part because otherwise you're just not going to get them down in the cracks. Especially because I'm using such thin chicken breasts. Okay, let me get my hands washed and then we'll do the cheese and then I'll do that other one off camera. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's just see how it comes out. Just try and squeeze the cheese down in there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use three. Okay, so it doesn't look very pretty right now, but <laughs> I think it's going to taste good. All right, so let me get my hands washed one more time. I'm going to go ahead and finish that other piece of chicken, and then I'm going to put it back in the air fryer for probably between, I'm going to say, five and ten minutes. All right, so I had a little bit of onions and peppers left, so I just went ahead and put it on the tray with the zucchini and squash. So I'm just going to let that cook just a little bit more while the chicken finishes, and then I will get it plated and show you what we do next. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do while we're waiting for the chicken is I have one teaspoon of lime juice that I'm putting in with the sour cream, and I'm just gonna mix that up, and that's just gonna be spooned over the top of the vegetables. In case you don't follow my meal preps, um, this is enough for two servings, obviously, for my husband and I. Um, I did check on the sour cream. I use Daisy Light Sour Cream, so for one ounce, it is two points. All right, next we're just going to spoon the sour cream over top. Okay, so I've got the sour cream mix scooped over and now I'm going to grab the chicken. And there we go. Okay, you guys, so I think it's excellent. What do you think? Yeah. He approves. So definitely a keeper. So four points for the chicken because I used three slices of that cheese. So you could definitely use two slices and have it be three points. And then two points for my sour cream, which of course you could lower that too. So thank you so much for watching.